I don't believe that that many people voted for Joe Biden. I, 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 and I will never believe that. I, I don't believe No matter that. how many lawsuits or court cases there No were. matter how many lawsuits or court cases. So it's an election year, obviously, and unfortunately, and during election years, I like to try to gauge where voters who I generally don't agree with are at just to kind of get a sense of why they're voting for who they're voting for. And of particular interest to me is Donald Trump supporters, because I am curious where they stand. And I think it's obvious where they stand. I can make a lot of assumptions about where they stand, but I've seen a couple of viral videos of Trump supporters lately that has led me to believe that they are somehow more insulated than ever, more delusional than ever. And I just feel like a lot of these folks, there's no saving them. There's no bringing them to reality. We have a president, former president now, who could very well win, and he's threatening to end democracy, and they're just A-OK -okay with it. So rather than trying to show you clip by clip, I want to just react to some of these viral videos that I've seen and uh, share my thoughts. So the first one is this ABC News interview. They're going to talk to three Trump supporters, small sample size, right? But I think that these anecdotes are important. But let's just listen to what they say. Not only do these voters dismiss Trump's many legal challenges. My opinion is that the justice system is being weaponized against certain individuals. They stand by Trump's false claim that Joe Biden lost the 2020 election, even if it takes a minute. Do you think the election of 2020 was I don't know that it, I, I, I don't think that it was. Yeah, I do. I think it was stolen. I, I, I don't believe that that many people voted for Joe Biden. I, 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 I and I will never believe that. I mean, they're just so insular. They can't fathom that that many people voted for Biden because they themselves couldn't fathom voting for Biden. OK, well, I couldn't fathom voting for Donald Trump or a lot of candidates. That doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't happen. It's just so bizarre that that's the logic that they use. You know, in the absence of evidence, which they have none, that the election was stolen, they just resort to, well, I just I can't believe it because I would never vote for Biden. So I don't believe that that many people did as well. It's just mind boggling to me. I, I don't believe no matter that. how many lawsuits or court cases there no were. matter how many lawsuits or court cases when when something is proven um i think you have to investigate the other side of it i take it you believe the she uses the word proven i don't think she knows what that means election was stolen yes I do. you know when people say well there isn't there isn't enough to overturn this particular election that really you put it all together i think there might be why aren't we looking at it how do you bridge the bitch we did look at it okay she just said if you were listening all these court cases it, it doesn't matter because one thing that we have to acknowledge is that facts are not going to be a contributing factor to, to their opinion right this was supposed to be the side about facts don't care about your feelings well facts are something that it doesn't matter to them like they're they have this opinion based on nothing and their brains are impenetrable. You can't, you can't get through to them with facts. And that's something that I think is hard to accept, but it's true. Facts don't matter to these people. The divide in this country. You guys have very strong opinions. You have certainly heard people who do not like Donald Trump. I think if we really start to look at how we really have a lot more in common and we all really want the same goal. We want safety and security for our country. We want you know, um, our, our, our children to thrive. We want, you know, to be able to pay our bills. I think we have to get control of the media. I think we really have to. Get okay. Okay. Before we get into the media stuff. So I'm sorry, I'm not buying it. There's this idea that, oh, okay, well we can come together if we see our similarities, right? We all have, you know, a lot of policy agreements, right? We want the same thing. We want our kids to prosper economically speaking, but you don't. You're lying. I don't believe you when you say that because you keep voting for politicians who don't support the same thing, right? I mean, leftists such as myself have been screaming at the top of our lungs for years now about the benefits of Medicare for all, right? Uh, it would save us money every single month. Yes, our taxes would go up, but we would no longer have to pay what is effectively a private tax to a corporation to get shitty healthcare coverage, right? Uh, if you end up going to the hospital for some reason and in the ambulance, they take you to a hospital that's out of network, you're going to have to pay out of pocket. 
Our healthcare system is a mess. And we say Medicare for all. How do you respond? That's socialism. Don't buy the bullshit anymore. You keep voting for politicians who openly say they want to cut Social Security, who are open about wanting to punish poor people for being poor, cut SNAP benefits, who don't want the child tax credit. So I'm sorry, I just I don't believe you when you say you support these policies. I don't think you have a core political ideology. It's just fuck the other people. And so long as I'm doing okay, that's fine. You don't actually believe that the United States is a real community. You don't believe in helping your fellow Americans. It's just about the politics of retribution and revenge. And to be clear, I think that liberals are also part of the problem because in public opinion polls, they'll say that they support policies like Medicare for all, but then they never vote for the most progressive candidate in primaries, they end up voting for the centrist Democrat like Joe Biden. We had the chance to get Bernie Sanders and they went with Joe Biden. So everybody needs to stop complaining about the country not changing. If you vote for politicians who want to uphold the status quo or in the case of these individuals, make matters worse. But she says we need to get control of the media. What does that even mean? Because I have my issues with mainstream media as well. I think that we need to decommodify media. I think that it's bad for news to be a business, right? I think that you need to remove that profit incentive so that way the actual dissemination of news is goal number one. But in capitalism, it's really hard to do that, right? And that's why you hear these corporate talking points, you know, why they're so pro-corporate. They don't want to offend their advertisers, but she can't articulate these things. It's just, oh, we have to control the media. Well, what does that mean? Just get them to be nice to Trump? Like, I'm just, I'm so frustrated because they are basing their strong opinions on ideas they pulled out of their assholes. And it's just, yeah, you can't reason with these fucking people. I've tried to, I have them in my family. You can't reason with them, I promise you that. To get control of the media if you wanna unify people because I think that they have a way of really controlling the narrative. When Not Fox I asked News, though, right? Angelic about the First Amendment and freedom of the press, she said that should stand, but she wants just factual information. Oh, does she now? That's fucking ironic. <laughs> I just, <laughs> you see what I mean? There's no hope uh, for these people. I think that they're just too far gone. And that's not to say that every single Trump supporter is too far gone. But in 2024, after four indictments, 91 criminal charges, an attempted insurrection, two impeachments, fucked up policies for four years, and him saying he wants to be a dictator, but only for a, a day, if you're still supporting him, I think you're too far gone. I'm sorry. I, I, I think you are. That doesn't mean that you have to be thrilled about Joe Biden. You can hate Joe Biden. But if you actively support and encourage people to support Donald Trump, I just feel like there's no hope. You don't actually care about anything. Like you're just, you're basing your politics off of some amorphous idea of what you want America to be. And I don't even know what that is. I don't think you know what that is. It's just frustrating. Uh, but there's another video here that I wanna get to. So this video here is from Luke Beasley. And I think that this is an older video, but he just posted it on Twitter recently. And this video really triggered me a lot because I I basically had a version of this conversation last week with one of my family members. And it's so frustrating. And you're going to see why it's so frustrating when we watch it. So uh, let's let's see what she has to say. He said when he was running that he wouldn't defund the police and he's talking about biden by the way so obviously a trump supporter but a cpac shirt so let's 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 hear on that and i think that's a huge reason why we so see so much crime today i think that biden has defunded the police where well i mean he hasn't defunded them but he's defunded a lot of the police notice how like him just asking her a question gets her to back down from her position <laughs> well he hasn't defunded them but uh he's defunded some and because that is done on a citywide level, not the national that's level. That's true. That's true. That's true. Um, but I mean, overall, I, I think that, that this is the scariest times that we have lived in. And he said, OK, this person's mind would explode if she learned that Biden actually supports increased funding for police, because guess what? Biden loves the cops. He wrote the crime bill, baby. He's that author. Uh, it's just, it's frustrating. And I was talking to somebody. I'll, I'll kind of get to my conversation with my family member without naming them in case they see this, because they might. Um, all of a sudden, they have a really strong opinion about Joe Biden. And it's like, 
do you even know what political party he's in? Because this person is very apolitical, but all of a sudden they heard something that had them against Biden. And my my question was like, well, why? Because I have I have criticisms of Joe Biden as well. There are legitimate reasons to oppose Joe Biden. So why do you dislike Joe Biden? And the answer was, well, it's because Obama is controlling him. Excuse me? Okay, first of all, um, that's not happening. Second of all, if it were happening, why would that make you so vehemently opposed to Joe Biden? I just, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, what policy reasons? Is it his foreign policy, anything that he's done domestically? Because there's a lot to be critical there. But this person was not saying, well, listen, I I support unions and Joe Biden, he broke up the railroad strike. I can't forgive him for that. There's no policy reasons. Everyone is just pulling stuff out of their assholes and they're having really strong opinions about this made up thing. And it's so frustrating to me because we have to have informed opinions if we're going to be that passionate. But these motherfuckers are the most passionate people on the planet. And they have real strong opinions about things they don't know shit about. It's just shocking. Now, this video is of TYT. This one went really viral. And I actually admittedly have not seen it yet. I wanted to react on camera. But um, so this is a Trump supporter here interviewed by Michael Shore. And apparently he's going to, uh, based on the title, call for Democrats to be hanged. So let's let's see what he has to say. I'm giving you, you know, 20 seconds to say something to President Biden. If you had him right here and the camera was President Biden. I can't say what I want to say. I'm sorry. Well, say something that conveyed. I would bring public hangings back. Simple as that. Okay, but then you got to say I think they should bring public hangings back and hang people like J Joe Biden. I really think you think that a pre pedophile, you think somebody would be a pedophile? OK, he's getting into it. I was just going to say, I guarantee that he thinks that Biden should be publicly executed for like the dumbest reason imaginable or something based on no evidence. But it seems like he's going to call Biden a pedophile. Seen somebody that was a pedophile hanging up in the street, dude? No. I don't think so. I think they should give every American an assault rifle and a, and, a, and a handgun inside of their home, just in case a home invader or a child predator. So just uh, universal uh, guns for everyone. I mean, look, I support universal programs as a socialist. Um, the top of my mind is like, okay, we've got to start with healthcare. Then we've got to go to housing. Um, I just, how do you, how do you win these people over? You can't, you can't. And you know, these are anecdotes, yes, but you've got to admit, this is a sizable portion of the American population who thinks this way, who believes this stuff. I have a member of my family who would also probably say something like this as well. I think Revelations is happening oh, no. before. Yeah, I, I think Revelations is happening right before our lives. And He's I referring to the end times passage in the Bible. Um, for those who don't know, Christians have been saying this um, forever. Um, since I was a kid, you know, my religious family members were saying, well, this is revelations. We're in the end time. We've been in the end time for a really long time. Um, so how can it be wrong? How can they be wrong if it's just happening in perpetuity, right? I think revelations is happening right now. I never used to believe in God until I overdosed on heroin. And then I truly believed in God, man. And let me tell you, the world is about to be a sea soon. I think that hmm, sounds like a loving God. He's going to drown everyone, I'm assuming. And it's like, look, I understand that you have like a really huge, scary moment and your life changes and you feel like there was divine intervention. But if that leads you to believe in God, you have to also question like, well, why is so much bad things happening uh, despite the existence of God? Why does he seemingly care more about me than other people who are suffering around the world? Like, you know, I prayed for my uh my family and god delivered seemingly but he's just ignoring the children in gaza currently who are being indiscriminately bombed uh it just if you go one step further in your thinking it kind of all falls apart but let's let's continue the border problem is a ser serious problem dude i think that soon it's gonna be the hunger games type issue you know what i mean but what would you like to see happen down there I would oh God, like to that. see Trump get into office and eliminate the presidency. Simple as that. There shouldn't even be a president. Our company shouldn't be a corporation. Our our country, my bad, shouldn't be a corporation. Simple as that. And there's a lot of pe evil people ruling this but world. But he, he's running for the presidency. Doubt, yes. Doubtful he'll eliminate the presidency, right? I hope he does. Yeah. I hope he does because our forefathers didn't. They wanted as little government as possible for a reason. 
It's because the government's bad, man. Okay. <laughs> And, and so the very first day, if Trump were to win again, would you, uh, what, what's the first thing you'd like to see him do? I think because of everything that's going on, there's, even if Trump wins, things are going to be bad no matter what. There's a certain family and there's a certain higher-ups that control our country. And Which family is that? I, the Rothschilds, the fucking... It, it's the bankers, bro. Here we go. We shouldn't Here be we go. In banking whatsoever. The a vision and what we are living right now is it's not that vision whatsoever. I'm a constitutionalist. This is a constitutional republic. We're not a democracy. People who think that we're a democracy. Hey, dum dum. Wait, let me just let him finish. Democracy are idiots. Okay, you are an idiot. Okay. Democracy is an umbrella term. Okay, it's a very broad category. And within that umbrella is constitutional republic. There are various types of democracy. It's like saying, well, we're a presidential system and anyone from a parliamentary system that thinks they're a democracy is an idiot. There are different types of democracy, okay? So uh, don't be so arrogant about things you know nothing about, you dumb bitch. I mean, they're completely f They don't know their history. They don't they don't read into and they hide half of it from us you know what i mean they our history books don't teach us what really happened who's hiding history right now oh my god this is so frustrating you see what i mean who's hiding history right now oh my god in this country i mean come on what's now. being omitted uh from history books that you'd like to see jesus back in the books? he's gonna say jesus our actual history <laughs> instead of a corporated our actual history <laughs> what does that even mean see it's like it's just Fucking word vomit. It's really difficult to um, to try to find a way to win people back who are operating on a different plane of reality than you, right? There's not just like the Trump delusional component, but there's also this fundamentalist Christianity that's involved as well that, you know, makes them kind of not have much of a regard for the country and the world because, well— Everyone's going to go to a better place soon. Jesus is going to come back soon. So if everything goes to shit here, it doesn't matter because it's only a matter of time before he swoops down on the white horse and rescues us and takes us all to heaven. So when you're when you're operating on that plane, it's hard to get them to care about this life, right? It's hard to get them to care about the country and other people, um, assuming they're correct and Jesus is going to come and like uh, drown us all soon. Maybe until he drowns all of us. What if we had universal health care and free public education? Uh, it just – there's no substance here. There's no concern at, at all for policy. It's just like these weird amorphous grievances swirling around in their head based on things that they've heard, based on memes, based on conspiracy theories, based on anti-Semitism. And they somehow try to mold some political views out of that and then – how that takes shape is just like grievance, stupidity, politics. And how do you win these people over? I think the answer is you can't. They are too far gone. So what do you do with this knowledge? I've asked this question before, and I still don't have an answer for it. How do you go forward as a country You know, when you have a section of the population that is completely detached from reality? Um, and I don't know. I don't think there's a good answer. I don't think anyone can really answer that question. One of the Trump supporters said, oh, the way we go forward is with policy. But these people have proven they actually don't care about policy. They don't give a flying fuck about policy, okay? You can poll Americans every single day, and they will signal support for the best, most progressive policies. But when push comes to shove, they vote against their own self-interest. And I get that options are limited in the United States because we have a two-party system with a first-past-the-post, one to take all fucking electoral system that fucks us all. But still, out of... Every single politician, you can't say that there hasn't been options that have been given to you. And every single time, they opt for the fuckheads over the ones who are progressive. So you don't support policy. So if you can't win them with policy, you can't win them over with facts, how do you win them over? Maybe you can't. So the question is, how do we go forward as a country? And that is the million dollar question because I genuinely do not know and I don't think that anyone is going to know ever because you saw... Pretty detached from reality, living in their own universe. I mean, goddamn. I'm gonna come. Do not come. 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 come.
Welcome to the Cut Zone. Come. 